Mustangs, how we doing? Yeah. How we doing this morning, Mustangs? Yeah. It is awesome to be here this morning in this great state of South Carolina. Uh, I gotta say, when I look out amongst all you guys, it kind of reminds me of being back in middle school, and I'll tell you a little story. I was a very overweight kid, and I had a really bad stutter growing up. And it was really hard for me to stand up in class when the teacher would ask you to read out loud. It wasn't that I didn't know the words. I just got really nervous, and the stutter jumped on me. And my friends, as much as we were friends, they would make fun. And I got real quiet. And I'll never forget the moment because life is about moments. And this is one of those great moments. But everybody in this room, no matter who you are, have moments. Some great, some not so great. And I remember this moment in my life. My dad bought me a set of weights when I was about 12, 13 years old. And those weights changed my life. Because not only did the weights build my body, but it built my confidence and self-esteem. And all the grown-ups in the room know, and I think you guys start to understand what having confidence and having great self-esteem is about. Because when you have confidence and you have self-esteem, it's amazing to see what you can accomplish in your lives. I just want to say a couple of things. We would not be here today if it wasn't for your principal, for your PE teachers, for your families, your moms and dads, your grandmas and grandpas and aunts and uncles. So I want you to give a big round of applause to all of them. And you can do better than that. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep our hands together, keep on clapping, because the more you clap, the more calories you burn. You know, we asked schools to tell us why they deserve a brand new $100,000 Don't Quit Fitness Center. And I would imagine, like a lot of people here, you would probably think, oh, why, why would our school win? Why should we win? But you know, in life, like I said, life's about moments, but it's also about taking shots. And you know, in sports, if you don't take the shot, you can't score the goal, can't score the basket. And in life, if you don't take shots, you don't stretch yourself out. You don't know how far you can actually succeed in your life. And I know everybody in this room has dreams. Everybody. If I went around the whole room and asked everybody what it is you want to be when you grow up, and even to, to moms and dads and teachers, and grandmas and grandpas, we all have dreams. And the great thing about what we're doing is, is when you have your health and you have hope, you have everything. When you have your health and you have hope, you have everything. And what we do is, we heard from about 150 schools in this great state of South Carolina. 150 schools. We had a video. We saw a video that your PE teachers put together, your principal put together, and it was absolutely beautiful. They talked about how much they cared about you guys, how important fitness was to the school, to the families, and to this community. And they showed us a room, kind of an empty room. They tried hard. They put in some fitness equipment but couldn't get it all. And when I saw this video, we talked to our team and we said, my goodness gracious, Malton Middle, the Mustangs, deserve a brand new $100,000. Don't quit fitness now. Maybe there's something 
some people in this room, some kids in this room haven't exercised before, haven't tried exercise before, let me just say this. You just need to do one repetition, one push-up, one sit-up, one bicep curl, one lat pull-down, one stretch, and you start to feel better, and you stand up a little bit stronger, and you'll start to see academics and fitness go hand in hand, this upward spiral. So when you come into school, you're less fidgety. If you're less fidgety, you're more focused. If you're more focused, you do better on your tests. You do better on your tests, your teachers are proud of you, your parents are proud of you, but you can look in the mirror and be proud of who you are. That's that upward spiral. And then you start thinking to yourself, I can achieve anything I want. If I can do some exercise, what else could I achieve? What else could I do? That's the great thing about exercise. That's the great thing about being healthy. That's the great thing about having hope. When you have hope, you have everything. And I just want to say this. I look out amongst this whole room here, and I will say this, one person in this room, maybe a number of you guys in this room, 10 years from now, 15 years from now, maybe 20 years from now, will be standing up right here, making a speech, telling a story about how you were in a moment when you were little or you were in middle school and you heard some folks talking about goals and dreams and success is failure turned inside out and you will be standing up here giving back to this community that you grew up in and that's really what this country is about right is giving back and i wanted to say this we want to say a big thanks to the folks and just once again get your hands together because i want really you to say this this is important hands together Dan So you guys know too, and for the press there too, this is not a grant, it's a gift. There's no government funding. So all the grown-ups who are thinking, wow, $100,000 fitness center. This is all done with public and private partnerships. So companies like Coca-Cola, Nike, Anthem, all come together because they care and we care about you. As we said in the video, we need to leave this place a little bit better as we left it. And the bottom line is, I wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for this next guy I'm gonna bring up. Because here's how we do it, real simple. We all come from the same neighborhood. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. You guys are from South Carolina, close by. <laughs> same accents, almost. But I pick up the phone and I call governors, cold. But I do a little homework on governors, you see? I wanna make sure that they're pro-family, that they love family, they love kids. They're all about education, they're about fitness, and they're about community. And they're all around good people and honest people. Well, I'll tell you something. When I called you governor, you know it took less, less than, 30, less than 24 hours to get a phone call back, he's a pretty busy guy. And I got a call back from his daughter, Mary Rogers, who was really excited about this and said, I love this idea, I'm gonna have my dad call you back in the morning. And I thought that was really cool. A family working together. That was pretty cool. He got on the phone, we had a great conversation. I asked him how many push-ups he did. He said 100, I said, okay, great, you're in. But I learned about Governor McMaster, how honest of a guy he is, and how cool he was. And I just want to say, I am really proud to be here today, dedicating this brand new $100,000 Don't Quit Fitness Center. But we wouldn't be here if your governor didn't pick up the phone. So I want everybody to stand up on their feet, get your hands together. Let's go, get your hands together. Yo, this will be the shortest talk we'll ever hear from a governor, I think. I want to thank all y'all for being here. This is a this is a great thing to see.
because South Carolina is the greatest place in the whole world, and the Malden Mustangs are champions of the whole world, and we go out to talk to keep this in mind. Just one thing, you heard, you heard all those things that Jake did, and he started when he was your age, and he kept at it, and he didn't quit. And he's strong in his mind and he's strong in his body because he didn't quit. Jake, I thank you so much for the inspiration that you're bringing here tomorrow. And this is my daughter, Mary Martin. She stays fit. She believes in the body of our Jake. a longer proclamation, but on behalf of five million happy, proud South Carolinians and a very happy, proud governor, I want to give this proclamation. This is a governor's proclamation. Now, I won't read the whole thing, but it says, where is South Carolina celebrates Don't Quit Fitness Month to bring greater awareness to the importance of physical fitness and wellness in the fight against childhood obesity, whereas academics and fitness go hand in hand. Whereas Don't Quit this Fitness Month will bring greater awareness to the childhood obesity epidemic and the importance of encouraging children and families to be physically fit. I therefore, Henry McMaster, the governor of the great state of South Carolina, do hereby proclaim October 2018 as Don't Quit Fitness Month. And this is for Jake, and we thank you, we love you, and we hope you come back soon. <laughs>